Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Well, I thought I'd drop a quick forecast for today and Black Friday, just for anyone that might be going out and traveling. Wish you safe travels, by the way. So, just going to make this forecast really quick, drop it on here for you guys, and we'll just go from there. Now, I did mention a few days ago that there was a marginal risk issue for today. That hasn't changed. It's also a marginal issue issue for issued for Saturday and then on the 29th there's a severe threat we're going to talk about that in another video though we're mainly just focused on today and tomorrow here so what we're focused on now is mainly today as far as severe weather is concerned we have a marginal risk that stretches from uh, south central Texas including the cities of Austin San Antonio Houston we have the uh, western coast of uh, Louisiana towards the Gulf Coast that becomes an area of concern later today for the potential of an isolated severe storm or two main threats going to be damaging winds but there is a two percent tornado threat that's centered near houston a uh, the low level jet around this region is a little bit stronger here albeit still not very impressive instability is going to be the main limiting factor with this event so i'm not super concerned about it but if a uh, watcher if a warning does get issued then you should know what to do just act quickly more than likely you're not going to get a watch ahead of time odds are it'll probably be a warning so just have a plan of action in case uh, the weather takes takes a turn downhill so let's go ahead and take a look at what the cape looks like on this event and you'll kind of see what i mean usually the brighter the colors the more intense the uh, storms can end up being in this region but as you can see here we're not getting super high values these values are kind of highlighting about maybe a thousand a thousand maybe uh, 1400 joules per kilogram i'm pointing at the wrong area right now of course but see like look around here all we're getting is about maybe a thousand joules it's almost the bare minimum for any sort of severe thunderstorm development and the area is very uh, isolated few and far in between even throughout the just throughout the entire day. I think there might be a potential for a little bit greater of an event Saturday, but still not too much has changed. I do think instability will be a big factor, a big limiting factor in uh, severe weather development. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that being said, let's go ahead and move on to what the to what uh, the temperatures will look like for tomorrow, and then also taking a look at what the radar could be for the next 48 hours. So this is about what we're looking at around this around current time that I'm making this video right now. Uh, a lot of the uh, southeastern U.S. has a lot of clouds over the area, so the uh, low temperatures aren't going to be too bad. We're going to be kind of sitting in the lower 40s and the uh, upper 40s and lower 50s for a lot of us. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be uh, some rain expected in the southeast today. Nothing of uh, major significance. But that's also going to help keep the temperature down just a little bit. So here we are getting into the afternoon. A lot of areas are getting into the 60s and 70s. One thing I do want to note here is there is some, there is there has been some discussion for uh, some potential severe talk around uh, eastern Louisiana and parts of Mississippi and Alabama. Temperatures are a bit warmer here. I have been talking about this area a little bit throughout the week, but. Like I said, this isn't an area that screams out that this is going to be a major uh, severe thing. It's just maybe a few extra thunderstorms at best. But beyond that, once we get into the evening hours, things kind of die out. Things kind of cool off pretty quick, getting back into the 50s and some areas getting into the 40s. Over towards the west, we're cold. We're kind of shifting into that negative PNA pattern, so that's not surprising in the slightest still a little warmer than average for over there during this time of year but the cooler temperatures are coming for you guys so we get into black friday it's pretty much the same deal showers thunderstorms possible for the southeast a little bit quieter of a day the instability is going to be even more limited on friday and then once we start looking into saturday some of that cold air is trying to push its way back to the south but I do think that uh, once this front passes through, it's going to be a short cool down, and then we're going to probably start warming right back up. So 
let's go ahead and look at the reflectivity here. And main thing we're going to be looking at is just scattered showers and thunderstorms. There is a wintry side to this system, and we'll get into that in a second. But for the most part, I'm more, I'm more concerned about this marginal severe threat. Even then, I'm not very concerned about it even. But we'll just kind of have to see how things progress with this. <clears throat> One thing I do want to note, though, that has that gives me a little bit of interest, these little showers and storms just north of that could create a little bit of a gust front, maybe have a chance at getting a slightly stronger than average thunderstorm developing a little further south. I think that's probably what the National Weather Service is thinking because of this little line of showers here. It's a little bit more advanced meteorology. If you want to know more about that kind of stuff, I have a playlist that I'm making right now as we speak. I'm working on videos for that. So I'll leave that link in the uh, top right corner here. But we move this along, those showers form a little bit of a gust front, or at least that's the thinking, and then we get some storms to pop off during the afternoon hours around southeastern Texas, works its way into Louisiana, and maybe a few storms could go severe, maybe around this region during the uh, late evening hours around here, overnight. I just don't think there's going to be a whole lot of instability to work with here. And actually for a lot of the southeast, we're going to be relatively dry, which is good news. Then here's our snow on the back side of it, falling around the desert actually. The areas that are likely to actually get a white Thanksgiving are areas that you normally wouldn't see getting a white Thanksgiving or really even a white Christmas. So that's pretty, like I said, that just shows how uh, odd and also how dynamic this system actually is. So we even get some parts of far southern, like far south southwestern Texas even getting some snow flurries. Isn't that something? But that's pretty much what we have going on for uh, Thanksgiving and Black Friday there. We'll take a quick look at the snowfall totals. It's not really a whole lot to look at. Here's a Cuchiera, one of my favorite ratios to look at. A little bit of snow towards uh, southern Colorado here. But the big winners as far as snow is concerned is going to be over towards the desert southwest where we could be seeing about four six some places even getting 16 inches of snow over there which is kind of crazy i think that's a little bit bold but not unheard of and then once we uh move this along that's when we start getting into southern texas and they they get some pretty big snowfall totals according to this as well which is kind of crazy we're getting a lot of areas where we we're looking at maybe a 12 even 18 inches of snow it's a bit much i do think those are going to be slightly lower than that some of the areas I think could would get six inches, maybe 10 inches. Wouldn't rule that out, but 12 to 18, I'm not so sure about. <clears throat> but other than that, other than a couple of pockets around uh, the Northeast here, maybe Northern Maine where we could get an inch or two, there's really nothing else going on. This will be associated with our next system here. Like I said, that video will be coming soon, but it won't be for today. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Again, I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family. It won't be a video this afternoon because I'll be with my family. And uh, yeah, I'll have a video for you guys Friday morning. But again, happy Thanksgiving. Spend time at Metal Earth Weatherman. I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the holiday.